I'm Daniel Marcos. I'm the CEO of the Growth Institute. And please subscribe to the channel if you want to get great content and tips and tools of how you could scale your company faster with less drama. Today, I'm going to talk about the daily huddle. I've been a CEO for the last 20 years, and 19 years ago, I met Vern Harnish, the founder uh, of EO, Entrepreneurs' Organization, and author of Scaling Up and Rockefeller Habits. And he taught me one thing he calls the daily huddle. And I originally, when he told me about it, I was like, wow, that's really, really weird thing to do. Like, I could not do it every day. It's too complicated. And now I teach that daily huddle is one of the most important things I do in my day. And whenever I recommend people to do a daily huddle, they always tell me the same things. No, we could not do that. That's impossible. We're going to lose a lot of time. And I could tell you, after running my company for the last 19 years with a daily huddle, is the best thing I could have ever done. It's amazing what we get with a daily huddle once you align and synchronize everyone in your team to have a great day. So first, before we talk about daily huddle, let's have an analogy about a huddle of football. Imagine a quarterback. Before every play, they do a huddle, they get together and they agree on the play. And that, they, that's how they could have a great play when they begin having a game. And people said like, well, but they already know what they have to do. Yeah. What's the objective of a team, a football team? They have to win the Super Bowl. For you to win the Super Bowl, you have to win more games. For you to win, win a game, you have to make more uh, touchdowns. So it's very, very important that you understand your big goals and then break them into very, very small things. And then every day before every play or every day in your company, you do a huddle to synchronize everyone with it in the team and make sure everyone's aligned and we know what we have to do. So I strongly recommend you test and you drive a daily huddle in your company. What are the success factors that make a great daily huddle? First, start in a weird hour. For us, it's 8.07 Central Time, USA. No matter what on what part of the world I am, I always get into a call at 8.07 Central Time, and every one of my team comes to the same daily huddle, and in 15 minutes a day, everyone gets synchronized and aligned. I like to do it the first thing in the morning, and that way I focus my team very, very early in the morning, of what do we need to do as a team to have a successful day. So start at a weird hour. If you said, hey, let's start at 8 a.m., people will come in at 8.05 or whatever. If you said 8.07, 8.07. That's the time we start. And you usually people come in 8.04, 8.03. We begin having some chit-chat, some talking. And then 8.07, everyone changes their attitude and we start with the daily huddle. Second, start with good news. It's incredible how much we're all the time seeing the bad things in the company and we never celebrate the good stuff and the small stuff. It's extremely important that you get your team used to celebrating every day. If you're a scaling company and you're, you're doing great things, you have to celebrate and have a fun celebrating every day. So please dedicate two minutes a day to have good news, business or personal. So business is very understandable why, but why do you talk about personal good news? And for me, it's very important when we're growing as a team, there's some people on the team that we don't have a personal relationship. And whenever they say something, a good news for their person, hey, my son just became a most uh, valuable player of the team or whatever, or my wife, we're celebrating our anniversary or something. You know something about that person and that makes you feel better with the person human to human. And whenever you're dealing with a person, you're dealing with them in a more human level. So I strongly recommend you allow your team to start with good news and have good news personal and business. Then numbers, KPIs, metrics. You have to drive focus to the team of what's the most important things we need to accomplish and we're focusing in the company in the month, the week, the quarter, or the year. So the most important KPIs, I want everyone in the team to see them every day so we're all aligned. Third, I want to see what's the priorities of the quarter and how are we doing and what do we need to do today to move the priorities forward. And then fourth, start with where, if someone is stuck in something or there's something that is not working. I want to hear directly from my team in every level what's not working in the company so I could fix it. So if you do those four or five things, you will have a great, great meeting. And the last thing that will take your meeting to the next level, have a dashboard. If you want to have a great meeting, have a dashboard that everyone will have their KPIs, priorities, everything. So everyone, when they have the daily meeting, everyone's looking to the dashboard and the dashboard will tell you what's important. And I tell my team, if whatever we're talking is in the dashboard, it's important. 
If it's not in the dashboard, it's not important. So just focus in whatever's on the dashboard. And the dashboard will allow you just to focus your team in whatever is important for the company that week, that month, and that quarter. All right, hope that this uh, worked for you. I will guarantee it will be amazing the results you're going to be able to have if you have daily hurdles in your meeting. All right, thank you very much. Please subscribe and I'll see you at the Growth Institute if you want to learn more about tools and techniques and methodologies to help you scale your company faster with less drama. Thank you very much.